what's up guys it's bobby we got cooking with bobby um on today's episode you could call it we're gonna make uh bell pepper sandwiches it's gonna be bomb and it's staying low on carbs so if you're on like a lower carb diet this is pretty good for you so going over ingredients we got uh green bell peppers these are the cheap ones that's why i bought them i didn't feel like buying the red ones we got a uh, marinara sauce with the jalapenos and mushrooms in it i really just got it for the jalapenos we're using ground turkey as the meat. We're gonna get some mozzarella cheese, onion, two jalapenos, and then I like uh, chili powder and this Creole seasoning as seasonings for it. All right, we gotta make sure we wash off all the bell peppers. So just run under nice, cold, medium, warm water, and then uh, we'll go through all of them. All right, next we're just gonna cut the top, the top halves of all of them off, and then we're gonna take off all the inside. And to take the inside off, I just like to cut along the white parts on the inside. That'll make it nice and easy just to pull out. And then uh, you can just cut as much as you want out from the inside. It's kind of tedious at this point, so I don't do too much of it. All right, now we're kind of getting down towards the sandwich part. I already cleared all of them out. What we're gonna do is just cut it right down the middle. And as you can kind of see, we're already starting to form the bread slices right here. And uh, when we bake them, they're gonna expand out a little more and be a little be a little more flat, so it's gonna make it a bit easier to like make into a sandwich. All right, we just gotta spray the pan that we're gonna put all the bell peppers on. I kind of sprayed it a little bit earlier and then realized I forgot to film it, so my bad, guys. So we're gonna start cooking the ground turkey. I already got the the big pan out. Um, we're gonna put it on high just to speed up the cooking process a little bit. Uh, obviously, we're gonna break this up. Uh, make sure it gets all cooked pretty nice, and then we'll start adding in the uh, other vegetables to it. While the meat's cooking, we're going to start dicing up our onions. I already uh, peeled them and took off most of the, uh, or all of the skin, I should say. Um, just be careful not to cut your fingers, obviously, when you're doing this. Um, and when you cook it, most of them will start to shrink up and break down. So don't be too worried about how small you cut them right now. All right, and then we're just going to dice up our jalapenos. Um... I'm personally, I'm not going to scrape the seeds out because I like it pretty hot. So I'm going I'm to literally just leave them as if they were the jalapenos. Uh, circles, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you call them. So I'm going to leave them just like that. But uh, if you want, you can cut and then peel all the seeds out. It's up to personal preference. Now that our meat's cooked pretty, or cooked almost, we're going to start adding in all the vegetables to it. And then we're going to add the seasonings as well so I can just mix it all together. Uh, for the seasonings, once again, we got the uh, chili powder. Let's just add a little bit of kick to it. I kind of, I'm very liberal with my usage of it because I like the heat. And then this Creole, this stuff's bomb. I suggest everyone go buy this. And I'm pretty, pretty liberal with that too. Just spice that up. We're going to mix all that together right now. All right, so now we got to set the oven since this is almost cooked. We're going to put it on bake at uh, 450. Uh, this is a convection oven, so it's gonna go to 425. It depends on whatever oven you're using. All right, we're gonna add uh, our marinara to it. I'm gonna use probably about half a jar because I don't want it to be too runny since we're gonna put it on the bell peppers. Yeah, that's about half a jar right there. And then just uh, mix it all around, make sure the flavor you know, gets spread around equally. To fill the bell peppers, we're just gonna scoop it in the top over over this to make sure we don't get any spillage, of course. And then uh, we're just gonna grab a little bit of our mozzarella cheese, put that on the top of it. Make sure you get it on the bell pepper itself too, oops, because it's gonna kind of act as a uh, to hold down the top half of the bell pepper. The oven's preheated to the 450 finally. We're gonna go ahead and open that puppy up. We're gonna put in all the bell peppers. We're gonna cook them for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, obviously, just keep a close eye on them. About 10 minutes, we're gonna take these bad boys out. Ooh, yeah, listen to them sizzling. Just a reminder, they're very hot. Um, we're gonna let those cool off for probably 10 minutes or so because then they are very hot but once they're cool we're gonna do a little taste test for you i add a little bit of sriracha to this it's still pretty hot so i'm probably gonna burn the shit out of my mouth but 
It's for the gram. For the YouTube. It's, it gets the Bobby G grade A of approval. All right, guys, that's, a, that's it for this episode, though. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, share this with your friends and family. Support me. Support the channel. All right, I'll see you guys.